Hello, this is Vern, and today I'm going to be sharing with you five types of men you need to avoid at all costs and why sometimes women confuse them with good guys. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to VernMendez.com, a space where I share with you how you can attract the kind of man and the relationship you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, stupid techniques, and strategies and by being the best and the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, it hits me in the chest in a painful way when I see that a woman who's smart, who's beautiful, who's conscious, is unbeknownst to her, wasting valuable time with a man who is clearly not going to get her to the final destination she's seeking. That meaning marriage, life of companionship, maybe she's seeking children, but there's certain types of men who will either not get you there or get you there in a way that you wish it never happened. The first type of man I want you to avoid and not confuse is an ambiguous guy. What does that mean? A guy who's ambiguous about why the hell he is here on this planet, who hasn't figured it out. A guy who is ambiguous in his expression of what he's seeking from you or from a woman. A guy who's ambiguous as to whether he wants children or not, whether he wants marriage or not whether he wants a different type of life or he's happy with where he's at in life. Some women confuse ambiguous guys, confused guys with guys who are laid back. And let me dispel the myth here. Laid back is a guy who is chill, but still knows what the hell he's going for in life. An ambiguous guy is a guy who is just swimming in an ocean of uncertainty without the ability to clarify for himself and the world what the hell he wants. Second type of guy I want you to avoid is an Eeyore. Who's an Eeyore? A guy who is pessimistic. A guy who's looking at the way things can't work out constantly. A guy who has a vision of cynicism towards the world. A guy who's lost hope. A guy who is, for some, realistic. Right? There's a difference between realistic and pessimistic. Realistic is a guy who sees things the way they are, not better or worse. And Eeyore is a guy who sees the worst in things and is going to drag you and suck you down a world of vacuum and void. And you want to avoid that. Run away. If you find one, please uh, don't become his therapist. <laughs> okay? Number three, entitled. Who's an entitled guy? A cocky, pretentious, overly seductive guy who feels entitled to your time, to your presence, touching you in ways that he's not earned. Uh, going deeper in his comments and his questions in a way that's not asked for or deserved from you. So why do some women connect with a-holes, guys who are of this quality and, and who are just like, overly pushy? Uh, because they confuse these types of guys with confident guys. A confident guy is a guy who still has boundaries, a guy who still has humility. A guy who still has the capacity of empathy and compassion, an entitled dude, doesn't have compassion for the most part, doesn't have that kindness. He's just going for what he wants and he's uh, demolishing trees along the way. And some women get excited about that saying, oh my God, he's so confident, he's so strong, without realizing that it's going to come bite you in the ass, metaphorically speaking, perhaps even literally speaking. So please move away from guys who display this overly... Um, confident aura without the capacity to enter into humility and, and self-awareness. Number four, emotionally avoidant men. Guys who don't really care. Don't really care to call. Don't really care if they don't see you. Don't really care for deep conversations. Don't really care about your feelings. Don't have the capacity to hold space for you ever. I mean, I understand men will not be exactly like your girlfriends who can talk for hours and hours about everything and nothing and uh, uh, rainbows and sunshines and get you to this roller coaster of experiences and then not resolve anything and still have a fun time. Yeah, most men won't be that type. But there's a difference between a guy who's not going to be exactly like a girlfriend of yours and a guy who lacks the capacity to put his heart out there, to be open, to be vulnerable, to seek depth. Uh, some women feel like guys who are emotionally avoidant are simply strong and independent. Again, not the same thing. Strong and independent can still have compassion. Strong and independent can still have vulnerability. Emotionally avoidant is 
someone that you will repent unless you're also emotionally avoidant and are seeking an empty relationship, you will suffer. Last type of man, and it even doesn't even need a comparison or explanation, is a selfish man. Selfish man is a man who is purely and predominantly seeking out what's best for him in business, in friendship, and definitely in love or sex, right? Because if you think about it, if you really want a life of happiness, if you really want a sustainable life fulfillment, especially if you're seeking a best friend type and even a guy that you can share your family with or even create a family even more important with, one quality you're seeking in that man is service. A man is only useful to this earth in his direct capacity to be of service to others. Yes, there's going to be aspects that need to be come back to himself and be somewhat selfish, but the predominant space from which he operates, if you want a happy life, needs to be one of offering something more, leaving this place better than how it started. I mean, this world is messed up enough by human beings, many of them men, who came here to get the most out of something without put, putting as little in as possible and getting the maximum output. You want a guy who's willing to give and share and be generous with his heart and soul. So avoid selfish men who don't enter relationships to give and mostly enter relationships to suck the marrow out of that person's life. Hope these are helpful, useful, insightful to you if they are and you want to learn how to enter a relationship that's fulfilling and passionate without extra years of pain, I've created a first class for you that's free. All you have to do is go to the first link on the description, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately redirected to this free training. If you enjoyed this video and you found this helpful, click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. And last but not least, if this is a year where you've said, I've had it, I want at this time next year, I will be with a soulmate, but I really don't know how, and I've watched videos and it still hasn't happened, then you might significantly benefit from help, personal help. Second link in the description will allow you to connect with me and figure out if we're a good fit to work together. And if we are, I can help you get where you want to go with much more speed than you on your own. Have an amazing day and thank you as always for choosing to be a conscious and a selfless and an amazing woman who doesn't settle for less than she deserves.